Hello everybody, welcome back to another Banner 101 tutorial from me, Gen Fire. We are going to be looking at some more things to do with banners today. Last time we looked at the very basics. Today we are looking at what else can I do with banners besides color them in and make them all pretty. Well, I've made a few examples for you. Let's go look at them. Lamps. There are many different types of lamps and light features that you can do with banners. We've got everything here from your Chinese floating lanterns. You can do them in all kinds of colors. It doesn't even have to be a light. You can do a colored concrete or something. But you can, you can basically, your only limit here is your imagination. If you think of something you can hang a banner on, you can do it. This simple standing light here has got to be one of my favorites because it is so simple. It's two blocks, two poles, and a bunch of banners. That is all you need to do. It doesn't even have to be a fancy one. It can just be a plain one. These ones here, these are, these are my chairs. I've got my high back chair here. The simple crouch and place on the back of the door and that will hang through the slab to make it look like the backing of a chair it makes it look more comfortable as well and it's a little different detail then we have the sofa there we go you can make these two sofa cushions like so but you need to have the light underneath because without the light it does this so you need to pop that light just in there just to keep them with their color now we're on to the bathroom. Now you can make any kind of shower that you want or bath or whatever, but it's nice to have a nice little detail with a shower curtain. And this is just two banners, one on top of the other. And it was just a white banner with the cyan stripes on it. We've also got a bathroom towel hung up on the radiator behind us. And if you look at the toilet here, the toilet lid is just a white banner stuck on the side of a block and hidden in the bottom of the stairs. We've got a different way of displaying your towel rail here. And this one is quite a common one. I don't know who designed it first, but this one is all over when you look for banner designs. This is our bathroom mirror. You can choose a different frame for whatever need, whatever you need your mirror for. Speaking of mirrors, nice to see yourself when you get dressed. How about we look in the closet for our clothes? Or on our favorite armor stand with our favorite shield. Now you can put any banner design you want on your shield. It is completely up to you, whatever you imagine. You just need to put your shield and the banner of your choice in either a crafting bench or your inventory crafting table and put the two together. There's nothing much to that at all, but it looks really fancy. Back to the mirrors that we saw before in the bathroom. If you put three of them like this, you can make yourself a little vanity table. Perfect for the side of a bedroom. And I don't know about you, but in my home, I have somewhere where I like to work. So I've got myself my own computer. And this is a pretty easy banner as well. Again, another gray banner with a black border and just a black stripe through the middle. The top of this is covered up by the barrel. Our little pet parrot here is guarding our sound system for our music player. Look at him boogie. Again, the same one as we saw earlier on the TV. Shush. Another furnishing that we can add to any house, any room, whichever your color scheme is our drapes or our curtains around the window. Again, pretty easy banner. It's a cyan banner with a blue stripe with the cyan teeth looking thing across the top. And you, you can do either. You can put these at the side of the window with a nice little 
frame here like we've seen in the end roads or you can just put it straight on the window to make it look more pulled across and just in the corner of our dining room we have room for our grandfather clock here with its own little pendulum in the middle I think this is a nice touch to any kitchen, dining room, or even the hall in a manor house. It's just a small detail, and all of these are just small details that make up a bigger picture when you're trying to add that something extra to a build. Now that's interior, let's have a little look at what we can do outside. Have a look at this guys, this is not my design, I found this on the internet when I just searched on Google look at this we've got three different banners that just make that car a little something extra than a square shape we've got these three banners here so we've got again gray background bottom half red and then the diagonal reds as well pretty easy pretty simple and then this one we've seen earlier on this is the one that we used for our computer screen so the bottom half over there was the computer screen and the top part here is what is showing as the wheel. And if you're going to be doing a city design where you've got lots of cars on the roads and stuff, you're going to probably need some traffic lights. So here are some traffic light designs, pretty basic. Speaking of basic, when you're outside, I like to label my crops because things like the pumpkin and the melon, you never know when they're at this stage which one they are. So I've got a melon and a pumpkin banner, and then you've got the others. You've got beetroot, wheat, carrot, and potato, all in banners. So I can see without looking, without punching anything, which one is which. Now that we're moving on to food, we've got these two little stalls here. Our noodle stand, you'll have seen something similar to this one in the Unity Cast series that we did, even did the purple behind it. Uh, you can find out how to make this one and the taco one in the other tutorial, which I will link below. But not only can you use them as banners to display what you're cooking, but you can also use them as a little closed umbrella. Now here is another example as a of a closed umbrella. Around the pool, we've got our little beach towels there. You've got the unfilled one with carpet and string, but then you've got the closed up one here. Now this next section is something that I absolutely love about banners. Banners have a slight animation, they move back and forth and you can sometimes use that wave effect animation to create other really cool effects in your build. For example, a peekaboo banner. There you go, there's a face looking at you from behind that poster in the wall. Did you see something looking at you? Did you not? What, were you, what, what, what happened here? This you would more find in like a creepy house. I've tried to make it as creepy as possible. But you can use it in other ways. Like this, for example. The banners, when you're placing them in an order, have this effect, but you need to be careful what order you put them in because some if you do them wrong, then the wave effect is going to be wrong as well. So you need to work uh, which way is it going to wave and which way you're going to place them. Same effect here. All we've done for these is put an item frame on the wall with an item of choice, whether it be a head or a block or a piece of wool. But those are just a few things that spring to mind because I have had people asking me, now I've colored in my banner, what else can I do with it? There are so, so, so many things. As I said earlier, the only limit is your imagination. Until next time, thank you for watching and thank you to all my Patreon supporters who make what I do possible. Their names are on the end screen. Thank you for all your love and support. Come and join us on the Discord. Come and join us when we are live on Twitch. Come and hang out in the community and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.